Thank you so much, Yvonne, for taking the time to join us. And this is your first time, right, to the Wild and Scenic Film Fest? That's right. And Patagonia sponsors a lot of films now, and so obviously you guys have made a commitment in showing these amazing places and the impact that people have had on them and then also what you can do. I think film is a really good way to do it. If you don't know about some of these places, then you don't care about them. I've climbed on every continent, you know, including Antarctica, and all I see is deterioration everywhere. So I've been around long enough to see that we're not gaining, we're losing. Now you've also been a leader in uh, encouraging other businesses to be environmentally and socially responsible. Well yeah, we started this 1% for the planet thing and we have uh, about 1,500 members now. And we're signing up one a day even in this recession. And um, I think we'll uh, start attracting larger companies because they'll see that it's important to have that logo on their product. So I, I see it escalating pretty quickly. Yeah, it's definitely something that we can do that has a positive effect. You know, so little money is given to, envir to the environment. I mean, it's less, less than 2% of all charity is, goes to saving the planet. Unfortunately, you don't get to say where your taxes go, but imagine if the next time you made out your income tax, on the back of the thing, you can say where you want your money to go. You want 5% to go to this and 10% to go to that. That's called taxation with representation, I think. Tax yourself. Why wait for the government, you know? When you go buy gasoline, if you buy 10 gallons of gas, put 10 cents in a kitty or something and then do some good with it. We're starting a campaign. We're gonna ask our customers to kind of reimagine a life that's an and a economy not based on consuming and discarding. We're going to take responsibility for our product from birth until birth. When it breaks down, we'll fix it for them. And when they're just tired of it and want to get rid of it and it's still useful, we'll help them find another owner for it. And then when it's finally really, really worn out and nobody can use it, give it back to us and we'll melt it down if it's polyester and make another jacket from it and uh, or if it's cotton wool hemp we can recycle all of those into more clothing well thank you so much yvonne for taking the time oh, to doing welcome. this interview